hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i will talk about the piper seminole fuel system um so let's get started so first and foremost the piper seminole it holds 110 gallons okay and that is the capacity so that's the total ga gallons so out of that 110 only 108 will be usable okay which makes two gallons unusable so let's start off with the left tank and i'm gonna switch to the right tank <clears throat> so i'm gonna fill my tank up with some fuel okay so our left tank is on so when our left tank is on this is what it does the fuel comes out of the fuel cell okay goes into the fuel uh the selector valve into the filter okay goes up okay into the engine driven fuel pump and by the way this is the um the electrical fuel pump down here Okay, into the carburetor and then into the cylinders. So, um, let's talk about the heater. So, we have a combustion heater, which means that it, it uses fuel to give us heat. So, um, a really, really good reminder, you, need, you want to look at your POH. The heater uses a half a gallon of fuel. So, if you're planning across country, you really want to take that into consideration. Um, and that's only if you're using the heater. So if you're not using if you're not using the heater, if it's a hot day, you don't have to take that into consideration. Um, so we're gonna just do that. Okay. So another thing that I am gonna talk about is the fuel primer. So this is really, really important to talk about on your check ride. So when you prime your engine right before start, okay, it only goes into cylinders one, two, and four, okay? It doesn't go to cil cylinder number three, okay? So when you prime your engine, it only goes to cylinders one, two, and four. Okay, so that's that. So now we're gonna talk about um, cross feed. And this is something that you will have to talk about on your add-on or your MEI. <coughs> so um, we're gonna use our right tank, our, our right tank for an example. I'm gonna fill this up too. So let's say that um, our left engine is dead. Okay, so uh, we're on a cross country and our left engine is dead, so we turn everything off. Um, so we're gonna turn this fuel selector to off. We're gonna turn our left fuel selector off, which means that we're only using our right engine right now. Okay, so if you're on a long cross country and you need more fuel, if you see that your fuel is getting low on the right side, you can always cross feed. <coughs> so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your right tank because our left tank is off. You're gonna take your right tank and you're gonna push this to cross feed. So what that's doing is it's taking fuel from the left sail Okay, and it's going to the carburetor and into the, ci the cylinders. Okay, so this is, you only use this in, in an emergency. You never use this like on normal flight, um, only if you have a, uh, an engine failure and if you're going on a long cross country. Another thing to consider, <clears throat> 
um, especially if you live in a cold climate like I do. I live in Minnesota, so it gets really, really cold in the winter. If your left engine is off, if your left fuel selector is off, um, if your um, left engine goes dead or whatever the case may be, remember your heater is connected to your left fuel cell. So if your left engine's dead, you're not getting no heat. You're not, you're not getting any heat. So keep that in mind also. Um, so that is how the Piper Seminole works, fuel system works.